What is going on all of my Namtarians out there? Welcome to a very special video. Last week I had a chance to go hands on and speak to some of the team behind Total War Warhammer 3. And what you're going to see here are slices of gameplay that I did from the preview build and some of the information I learned from my experience checking out the game. One of the major changes that you will see in this gameplay is there is an 8th faction just announced today where the game essentially harkens back to Total War Shogun 2's avatar multiplayer mode where you have a character that you can customize and change and he evolves and the units in your faction will change and differ based on which of the four chaos gods you pay tribute to every time you win a battle or take over a town or a settlement and it really allows for a whole RPG build a faction style of gameplay within the regular campaign that Total War has never really had in its single player. On the other hand, the other major change coming to the game is multiplayer has been redone significantly, now featuring up to 8 players and for the first time ever, simultaneous turns. Things that Total War fans have been asking for for a very long time. If you know my channel, I have extensive co-op gameplay of the Total War games, and we never thought that simultaneous turns would come. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to try out the co-op, but I will ahead of time, and as soon as I get my hands on the real version of the game with online, I will create some co-op uh, footage for you guys, show you how it works, what simultaneous turns means in terms of the rule set for battles and just explore all the nuances that simultaneous turns will bring and i'm very excited about the future of this game it played great looked great the storyline ursin the campaign map and i only had a small amount of time check out the full written preview for more information at rectifygaming.com i hope all of you enjoy this special look at gameplay i'm gonna shut up now Enjoy my novice Warhammer 3 gameplay. Land, Kislev, the nation which abandoned you, whose god you had no choice but to slay. The leader of Urson's cult, Kostaltin, musters a force to enact revenge against you. Meet them head on and harvest their miserable lives to power your own vengeance. As you gather your forces, the Tome of Fates ponders a way to return to the Chaos Realms. Your form remains malleable, so use this to your advantage and wield the Legion of Chaos. A prince will become a king, and then a god. Intruders from the Empire dare to approach your fortress. Destroy them. Demon Prince. I will drink from your skull. Quail before your god. Battle is upon us. Study your options carefully. The enemy are close. Sent by chaos. Children. A perverse indulgence. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
begin to flee. Run the turrets down. Victory is yours, my lord. But what about the fate of those captured in battle? It can be beneficial to hold them, but sometimes leniency or brutality. gods labor to give you a mighty fortress from which you can begin your reign of terror. Master, you require a larger demonic host if we are to dominate this region. This world will burn! A boon to the 
great reaping. A potent ally has joined your ranks. Embed them in your army. Face an entrenched enemy that has had time to prepare. Be wary. Your soldiers are ready to deploy for battle, my lord. They await your orders. into battle with great powers, my lord. Be sure to make use of them. Be 
Knowledge Unbound! Chaos incarnate! Surge through the snow, peons! <laughs> <laughs> 